Greetings and welcome back to Simir Flyer. I am Dane Simir. We are doing today part three of three parts of VATSIM for the newbie. Uh, this is part three has taken a little while for me to get it up and running only because I've been trying to I've been watching VATSIM trying to make sure I can get a controller on the departure airport as well as the destination airport and of course in between and that's been difficult because VATSIM of course is uh, just like uh, uh, sim sim flyers uh, we don't always fly uh, VAT sim controllers don't always control so it's a matter of looking at the maps and trying to figure out who's controlling and what control areas are available so today um, I have found an area that I guess I'm gonna go with it's not quite what I wanted but it's but it's uh, it's been long enough for part three so I better get it started so I was hoping to fly in a US uh, airspace somewhere but I couldn't really find the conditions that allowed me to have a controller at departure as well as arrival so what I've ended up where we're going to be flying is in the Vancouver British Columbia area and you can see in Vancouver which is uh, Charlie Yankee Victor CYVR we have a ground controller and of course we always have ATIS but besides that we also have and approach and arrival approach and departure controller and as well as the approach and arrival departure controller we also have a center controller which is controlling all of this British Columbia area the approach departure controller or Vancouver Arrival, as it's called, controls basically this area, which is all of this. So we will depart from Vancouver International Airport and we'll plan a flight to go to Abbotsford Airport. Abbotsford is a small a small international airport in the southern part of British Columbia. So there is no tower on duty or ground, but the the um, arrival, Vancouver arrival, will cover that for us. So it's as close as I'm going to get to what I'm looking for. So without any further ado, um, we are located, well, let me get the aircraft up, and uh, we are located in Vancouver, but let me get the aircraft in the uh, video camera here. So we are located at, at, at uh, Vancouver International, and we are in the southeast portion of the airport. I will bring up the Navigraph map and show that to you. So we're located right down here in the southeast portion. I've checked ATIS and they're using runway 08 right and 08 left for departures and arrivals. So I would imagine that the ground controller will give us a taxi route of Alpha, probably along Alpha, out to 08 right for our departure. So after departure, we will be, I'm sure, vectored uh, 
is we're going to be VFR, we're not IFR, so we're going to be vectored out of the the uh, control area, the cl class Charlie control area. And what I'd like to do is pick up the Vancouver VOR, which is 115.9, and I've already got all of this tuned into the aircraft already. And we're going to take that on approximately 87 degree heading to the start of what I'd like to do is an ILS into Abbotsford, runway 07. So that's the plan. Let's hope it. Let's hope it all works out. So let me get back in the cockpit and uh, get uh, get VATSIM loaded up. The B pilot client loaded up. Okay, so we're in the aircraft, and I'll just bring the V pilot client over and go through the process of connecting. So we click the connect button. I have put in our aircraft type code, which is Bravo Echo Tree 6. It's the type code for the uh, Beach Bonanza A36. My call sign is November 624 Delta Whiskey, and I'm going to connect. So we've connected to a voice server. The various air traffic controllers are coming online here. There's Vancouver Center. There's Vancouver... There's Vancouver Approach Departure. There's Vancouver Ground. And there's ATIS for Vancouver. So we can double-click on this ATIS. One, two, two, Echo, Vancouver. Yeah, I can see where it's uh, intermittent on my side here, the push to talk. Sorry about that. Um, copy your request for a flight following from Tofino. Uh, my question is, are you on the ground in Tofino or are you airborne now? Okay, no clearance required for a VF. Okay, I just turned off that frequency which happened to be center. Um, for some reason. Yeah. Okay, he was having a little trouble with his his audio. But anyway, let's carry on. So... can see where he wrote here there's an issue on his on my end standby he says okay let's let's continue so Vancouver ATIS we double click on that and we get the ATIS weather information we could see that winds are 100 at 12 gusting to 18 um, we can see there's 20 statue miles visibility uh, broken Scattered at 3,100, broken clouds at 7,400. So it's it's a good VFR day. Uh, runway eight and eight left and eight right. Simultaneous parallel runway operations in use. Landing runway is runway eight left, primary, and runway eight right, secondary. Departing runway is eight right, which is exactly what we'd like to have. So that's great news. So we've got that. Now what we need to do, unlike the United States where you do not need a flight plan for VFR, in Canada it is required for a flight plan for any flight over 25 nautical miles. And we are going to be over 25 nautical miles. So we will go in and file a flight plan. Sorry about that. It looks like I was stuck on the map view. So let me <laughs> let me close this down and just go back to where I was. What I was 
showing you and talking about was this information here but unfortunately I had the map view up and uh, you didn't you get you didn't get to see this so this is the ATIS information right here that I just went through we're taking off on runway 08 right as you can see here and the problem the, the center controller was having, he's got an audio problem, and you can see he typed in here to a different flyer. Uh, November 122 Echo is a flyer. He says, issues on my end, stand by. So he was having an audio issue. So that's how they can communicate with you by, by typing if there's no voice. Okay. Let's now file a flight plan, as I was about to do. But then realized that I had the map view up. So let's go into flight plan. Okay, so we're going to be filing a flight plan. Our call sign is November 624 Delta Whiskey. This is going to be a VFR flight. The aircraft ICAO code is Bravo Echo 36 and the wake category is light. It's a light aircraft. Equipment code is a slant alpha. So we'll just put in here alpha. That's all we need to do there. We don't need transponder. We don't need to fill that in. We're departing from Charlie, Yankee, Victor, Romeo, CYVR. We're going to be taxiing out, let's see, off the block means when you start taxiing out. So right now the universal time is uh, 2007. So I would say we'll probably be ready to go by we only need about 15 minutes, so let's say 20, uh, let's say 2030, we can always go earlier, so we'll say, and it needs hour, hour, minute, minute, so 2030, 20, our altitude, uh, we're going eastbound, so West it's even, east it's odd, and we're VFR, so it's going to be 3,500. And our airspeed will be, oh, I would say, 100 and, 100 and, uh, 140 knots, we'll say. It doesn't have to be exact when you type that in. We're going to be arriving at Abbotsford Airport, which is... Um, the ICAO code for Abbotsford is CYXX. So Charlie Yankee X ray X ray. We don't need an alternate airport because that's we won't need that. And our en route time really is only going to be, I'd say, 30 minutes. It won't even be that long. So we'll just go 0030. And we have enough fuel on board, I know, for uh, for two and a half hours. Zero two three zero. Well, let's put in two hours just to be. We have two hours of fuel on board. Now this is a route we don't really have to. It's VFR, so typically you could just simply type in here. Um, VFR East and I like to put in via the VOR that we're going to use which is YVR VFR East via YVR this information you do not have to type in what you can type in, and I'll just show you right down here in Remarks, if you're a new VATSIM flyer, 
and you just want the controllers to kind of know that you're new at this, you can just type in anything you like. You could say uh, newer that sim pilot. So you could type something like that in there and that would just let them know that you're kind of new at this. And you're going to be broadcasting using voice as opposed to text only or receiving only. I use voice for transmitting and receiving. So that's all there is to the flight plan. So I'm going to file that now. If there was a problem, it would tell you up here that your flight plan has failed and it'll tell you the reasons why. So our flight plan has now been filed. I can close this. So we're going to go ahead and put these frequencies into our radio. Just move this out of the way here. So we want... Um, actually, I'm going to have to move it over here. I'll just tell you what they are. So we're going to put in the ground control first because that's the first comm radio we're going to use. So up here, we need ground control in here. So that's going to be uh, 121 decimal 70. And I'm going to swap that over. So it's in the active now. And we will, once we take off, we will need approach, we'll need departure. Vancouver departure, which is 128.6. So we'll put that in the standby. Okay, so we'll just swap it over, make sure it's working. It tells you right there, CYVR approach. And this one tells you CYVR ground. Okay, the other thing we're going to need is a piece of paper and a pencil. Now I showed you before what I use and um, let me just get it filled out and then I'll show it to you on on the uh, webcam. Okay, so this is the form. Let me turn on the webcam. This is the form, rather than a scrap piece of paper, I use this form, which I may have shown you before. It might be hard to see on the webcam. But um, you can see all of the information I need is there. The frequencies are all there. I have yet to get a squawk code and I'll get the taxi uh, information and the VOR is down at the bottom and the ILS into Abbotsford is also down at the bottom. And then if I turn this over on the opposite side, this is the destination airport side where that information is in there, center and departure controllers are there and the VOR and uh, not the VOR the ILS information is also there so that's the form I use but you can just use a scrap piece of paper I just find it easier filling in the blanks rather than uh, starting with a whole new uh, uh, with a blank piece of paper Anyway, let's get going, because we will need to get this flight in the air. Okay, I'm ready to call Vancouver Ground. So again, I'm going to give Vancouver Ground the information that they'll be looking for. Who, who I'm calling, of course, first. And what my aircraft is, who I am, where I am, and why I'm calling. So let's see if we can make this all happen.
Vancouver Ground, Bonanza, BE-36, November 624 Delta Whiskey, at the southeast ramp, request VFR uh, eastbound to Abbotsford. Bonanza, November 624, Delta Whiskey, Vancouver Ground. Um, yeah, just I just want to confirm you want the VOR departure. Oh, I'm sorry. I... I, maybe I used the wrong word. I just want VFR. I'm a VFR flight eastbound uh, to Abbotsford. I guess I used the word VOR by mistake. Sorry. Uh, that's the November 624 Delta Whiskey. No worries. It wasn't in your wording. I'm just checking your flight plan here. It says VFR East, but you added via Yankee Victor Romeo, which is, I'm assuming it's the VOR departure. I just want to confirm you want that. Oh, I see. Okay, first of all, let me tell you, I'm, I'm a newer VATSIM pilot, and I guess I didn't need to fill all that in. I'm just going to pick up the VOR on my own just to get me over to Abbotsford. That's in November 624 Delta Whiskey. Roger, no worries. It's completely valid. I just want to confirm the departure with you. Anyways, uh, for VFR, your current runway is 08 right and squawk 5454 four. okay 08 right squawk 5454 four, and I am ready to taxi I'll put in the squawk code but that's the November 624 Delta Whiskey Roger runway 08 right wind right now is 110 at 10 zero knots, gusting 16 knots. Altimeter is 3011. Taxi via Alpha, cross runway 31, and hold short circuit right. right. Okay, I should have told you that I do have uh, Charlie on board, um, and so I'm to taxi via Alpha, and I'm to cross 31 and hold at 08 right for November 624 Delta Whiskey. That's uh, November 624 Delta Whiskey. No worries about the information. Delta is actually current right now, not Charlie, but. Either way, uh, winds yeah, should be as I stated, and same with the altimeter. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, information Delta, and I'm, I'll start my taxi. So let me just quickly show you what we're doing. So here we are down at the southeast corner. Uh, the ground controller has told me to taxi via Alpha. Just blow this up a little bit. So we're going to go across the ramp here, go on to Alpha. We're going to taxi along Alpha. He has given me permission to cross runway 31. Sometimes I may tell you to hold at a, at a, when you're crossing a runway, but he has told me to cross runway 31. And I continue along Alpha out to the hold point right here uh, before going on to runway 08. So that's, that's the plan. Okay, let's get going. So you see, I wasn't uh, afraid or worried about telling the controller that I'm a newer VATSIM pilot. And you, please make sure you do that, because that way they know that they will um, just kind of take it a little bit easier on you. We just have to be careful where we're taxiing. 
But what I'm doing right now is I'm basically watching the Navigraph map. I'll show you on Navigraph as I'm taxiing. You'll see my airplane moving along there. So I have to keep going down the ramp until I get to the Alpha taxiway. I can go out here to Alpha. Just pause the video until I get a little bit further out. Uh, November 624 Delta Whiskey, Squawk Boat Charlie, please. Okay, Squawk uh, Mode Charlie. I had to squawk mode Charlie, I hadn't done that. So he told me to squawk mode Charlie, so that's what I've done. So you see, we filed the flight plan as it's required in Canada, and he had all the information uh, for our flight. Whereas in the U.S., you do not file a flight plan for a VFR, and you basically have to give him, him or her, all of that information over the radio when you're talking to them. So we're heading along here on Taxiway Alpha, making our way down to Runway 31, and we have been given permission to cross Tree 1. So you see, it's really important to have the proper charts. Um, you can't really fly on VATSIM without the proper charts. We talked about that back in part one of our video. So here we are, we're coming up to runway tree one. He has given us permission to cross. So we will continue along. We look both ways though, just to make sure there's no aircraft landing or taking off. See, we got a stiff windsock over there that we're going to be dealing with. So I'm just leaving it on the Navigraph chart for you, just so you can see the aircraft as it's moving along. But in fact, we can switch back to cockpit view or aircraft view. Vancouver Ground, Air Canada 556, looking for IFR clearance to Los Angeles International Airport. We have information Delta and the local weather. Air Canada 556, Vancouver Ground, hello. You are cleared to Los Angeles International Airport via the Fraser 7 departure, flight planned route. Departure runway today is going to be 08 right and squawk 5637. Hello, Air Canada 556. Cleared to the Los Angeles, Los Angeles International Airport by the Fraser 7 departure. 
Runway zero eight right. Squawk five six three seven. Air Canada 556, read back is correct. Push and start will be at your discretion. Call me for taxi. So when we get down to the Push and the start my discretion. Point, Thank you. We'll call for taxi. Air at, Canada 556. At runway 08 right, he will... Bonanza, November 624 Delta Whiskey. Contact Vancouver Terminal 128.60. Thanks for flying in Vancouver and have a good flight. Uh, thank you for your service, uh, first of all, and contact uh, 128.6, uh, November 624, Delta Whiskey. All right, so I'm going to hold here. Just move up a little bit further, and then we'll hold... And then we'll contact 128.6, which is let's just hold right here. Okay, let's hold right there. So we're finished talking to ground now, so I'm gonna swap over the frequency to 1286. And I'm going to get ready and put in center's frequency because we will be handed over to center probably, maybe, never know, sometime in the air. And that's 13370 just to be ahead of the, the radio calls. All right, so there we go. We've got 1337 in the standby. We've got 128.6 in the active frequency, which is... Uh, Vancouver departure. All right, so let's call them. Vancouver departure, November 624 Delta Whiskey uh, at runway 08 right. November 624 Delta Whiskey, Vancouver Terminal. Hello, good day. Wind 110 at 10, gusting 16, clear for takeoff from 08 right. Cleared for takeoff, runway 08 right. And just uh, one quick question being a, a newer VATSIM pilot, do I continue runway heading or am I uh, free for VFR flight? And November 624 Delta Whiskey, normally you would continue around my heading, but uh, for today you're free. Thank you very much. We'll keep that in mind for the future. 624 Delta Whiskey. Okay, so you see, you ask the questions. If you're not sure, you ask the questions. Notch of flaps. Okay, your speed is alive. Eighty knots, we shall rotate. Gears coming up. Soon as we Get clear of the runway, we'll make a right turn out to intercept that VOR that we'd like to intercept. Okay, 
laps are coming up. I'm going to make a right turn out now. November 628 Delta Whiskey identified, say altitude. Just passing through 1,200 for 624 Delta Whiskey. Number 624 Delta Whiskey, Roger. So he's identified us on his radar scope. He wanted to confirm our altitude. this heading until we pick up the VOR. We want to fly out on a heading of 087 on the VOR. We want to intercept that radial on the VOR. So departure control has us on his radar. So he's following our flight. Coming up to 3,000. I'm just going to put it on uh, autopilot. So we're going to hold at 3,500. And we are clear of those clouds. You have to be 500 feet below the clouds to be legal. We're going to watch for this CDI needle to come in as we approach the VOR and then we'll turn to a heading of 087 to track that VOR out to Abbotsford. We should start see, seeing the VOR coming in very soon here. I'll just quickly give you a shot of Navigraph, see where we are. Right there, and we're going to go out on 087 for nautic 19 nautical miles. Okay, we need to turn to 087. We may have overshot that VOR while I was. Number 624 Delta Whiskey cleared straight in runway 07. Okay, you're giving us our clearance to. Uh, Albert's Verge on 07, uh, 624 Delta Whiskey. Thank you. He's given us our He's given us our clearance to land on runway 07 at Abbotsford. That's pretty neat. So what we need to do now is um, tune in. I'm going to use the ILS into Abbotsford, which is 109.7. So I'm going to put that into the into the nav. One zero nine decimal seven. I'm just going to pop that over. 
And we're going to be landing on runway 07, which is actually a heading of 069. So it's not picking it up just yet, because we're too far out. We've got to keep 3,500. We should not go above that. We can go below it, but not above it. So in this flight, um, departure control, because there's no tower at Abbotsford, departure controller is, is uh, we've got, he's controlling our flight from the takeoff from Vancouver uh, while we're in the air and even the landing at Abbotsford. Normally, uh, if there was a tower controller on, uh, we would be tuning over to the tower frequency at Abbotsford. There isn't. But he's given us our clearance to land way ahead. Normally, it's not this far out. Normally, when, as you're closer to the to the airport, is when they would give you the clearance for landing. That's okay. We're way ahead of the game here. A little bit of misty clouds up there, but I think we are low enough to. Maintain legal vehicle. November uh, 624 Delta Whiskey Airport, your 11, 12 o'clock, 20 miles, report in sight. I do have the airport in sight, November 624 Delta Whiskey. November 624 Delta Whiskey, Roger, wind 090 at 5, runway 07, clear to land. Cleared to land, runway 07, November 624 Delta Whiskey. Crosswind. According to the navigraph, weather it's saying winds are zero seven zero at fifteen. Okay, so there's a CDI for the ILS right there, so we need to center that. Once we're centered, we'll turn on course to 069. It's centering right now. Right now, we're just flying over the town of Blaine, Washington. Okay, it has centered, so we need to keep that needle centered. Our glide slope, we are low. Our glide slope is up there. I purposely stayed low because of this cloud cover. But maybe I'll sneak up a little bit just to make the glide slope a little bit happier.
Vancouver Terminal, Air Canada 556, holding short runway 08, right? Ready for departure. Canada 556, Vancouver Terminal, hello, wind 110 at 10, gusting 16, clear for takeoff runway 08, right? Clear for takeoff runway 08, right? You Air can Canada see 556. The runway ahead of us right there, flashing lights, the approach lights. Yeah, I don't want to go any higher because of the cloud cover. Because if the clouds were really heavy, we would have to advise terminal that we are entering IFR conditions and we'd probably have to go to an alternate airport. Long as we have visual on the runway, which we do, our CDI needle is pretty much bang on. I'm not using autopilot at all. I'm flying this all by hand. But as I said, I'm purposely staying lower because of the cloud cover. That's why the glide slope is way up in the top of the gauge there. Okay, I'm going to put in, uh, we're at... Uh, gear retract gear de deployment speed so put the gear down get ready for landing so one thing I noticed in Canada they use the term terminal so in other words we're talking to Vancouver terminal in the U.S., it would be approach departure, approach or departure. Well, this is not looking so good for visibility. We may have to abort. Oh no, there we go. We've got the runway back in sight. Vancouver Terminal, Flare 759. See, they're using the word terminal. Flare 759, Vancouver Terminal. Hello, line up and wait, run with 08 right. Line up and wait, 08 right, Flare 759. Alright, I'm going to put in one notch of flaps. Canada 556, AL2. 2500, Air Canada 556. Canada 556, thank you. Identified, climb 16000. Glide slope is coming 1, in. 16000, Air Canada 556. A little bit better now. And then Canada 556, proceed direct Seattle on course. Proceed direct Seattle, Air Canada 556. Glide slope, we're right on glide slope and we're right on the localizer. Clear 759, wind 110 at 10, gusting 16, runway 08 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff 08 right, flare 759, -er, thank you. Everything's looking good so far. Glide slope is dead on and the localizer is dead on. And like I said, we're not using autopilot. I very seldom fly with autopilot. I, I, I'll usually turn it on if I have a long route to take. I prefer to try to manually control the aircraft. Yeah, it's flashing a message to me. What's it's telling me? Near airspace. Long to return with all flare 674. Taxi on Alpha to hold short of runway 08 right. Flare 674, Vancouver Terminal. Hello, line up and wait runway 08 right. Line up and wait 08 right. Flare 674. Put in another notch of flaps.
Gear down. Three green. Flaps 30. Gear down. Three green. Flaps 30. Okay. Continue. That's my approach. There's 759. Say altitude. That's my approach call. Passing 2500. Flare 759. Sayer 759, thank you, identified, climb 16000, proceed direct Janet on course. Direct Janet on course 16000, flare 759. Canada 556. Contact center 133.7, enjoy okay. flight. Welcome yeah. to Latsy. Lose some altitude Over to now. center 133.7. Um, we'll be taking you. that Air Canada 556. second turn off over there. 400. Say so 674, uh, wind 110 at 10, custom 16. Clear for takeoff from zero right. 170 feet. Clear for takeoff from zero right, flare 674, thank you. Keep it on the runway. Keep it on the center line. Now terminal will probably call me. Tell me to ex make next left exit probably. Track the flaps. Number 624 Delta Whiskey, welcome to Abbotsford. Where are you parking? Uh, general aviation parking, if uh, that's available. Number 64 Delta Whiskey, of course. Uh, exit left on Delta. Charlie, cross runway 01, and then uh, any stand you like. Uh, exit left on Delta, and then Charlie. And thank you very much for your service, November 624 Delta Whiskey. Thank you for flying. Welcome to Vatsa. Thank you. So... There's 759, contact center 133.7. He told me to... Center 133.7, flare 759, thank you. Delta, and then go to Charlie. Flare 674, uh, say altitude. And then park anywhere I like, he said. Oh, one thousand one hundred flare 674. So we're just following Charlie. Flare 674, right thanks, identified, so climb 16000. It's so critical to have the proper chart. Climb 16000, flare 674. The you, you really cannot fly on VATSIM. Because you cannot go by the scenery that's in Microsoft Flight Simulator. No, he didn't tell me to hold at this runway, so I can go straight across. There, 674, turn left heading 360. And I'm just going to park right left over turn here. Left turn heading 360 for flyer 674. This will do just fine over here. And then we'll wrap up. We'll have a debrief. Parking brakes are set. Parking brakes are set. November 64, does the whiskey do you call? Uh, sorry, I mistakenly pressed the call button. So sorry. Not a problem. 
So, so what I just did there, um, I was pushing the the button for parking brakes, but I accidentally pushed the trans the radio transmitter button, and I didn't speak, but he knew it was me. So he he he, he, he called me back, which which is actually really quite nice. Uh, so you see, you do make mistakes. Mistakes do happen, and um, but don't be afraid to get onto VATSIM. Uh, let me shut the engine down. So what I what I do here once we've uh, once we've finished our flight, I'll just bring this over. So really, we finished our flight. There's no need to make any more calls. So I'm now going to disconnect. So I'm now disconnected. So VATSIM no longer hear anything. I can't call them and they can't call me. And um, yeah, so that's, I'll, I'll do a shutdown in just a minute. So um, I hope you got something out of this. Um, please try going on VATSIM, but as I said also, um, if you haven't already purchased Beyond ATC, which is a AI-operated standalone program for, uh, for IFR flying, you can fly VFR, but it's but it's right now it's just set up for IFR. It's really worth thirty US dollars just to get your feet wet and get uh, accustomed to talking on the radio. So again, thank you very much for flying on Simair Flyer. I'm Dane Simair. If you liked the video, I would appreciate you clicking the like button. Uh, it does help to tell YouTube to to uh, give me more exposure and if you'd like to see more of my videos click the subscribe button until next time take care and happy flying